Hey guys, ignore the dogs barking in the background. Uh, I just want to do a quick little uh, what I'm reading right now. Um, I'm not even looking at the camera, am I? Um, and what I'm reading right now is um, The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker. And then I was going to move on to some anthologies. Um, but there is a possibility that I um, do a camathon which is uh, Cameron Rubik and Cameron Chaney's books. Um, in order to do that though, I need to have the money, so we'll see how this week goes. Um, but I'm reading The Hellbound Heart currently, and I'm going to be reading um, probably Books of Blood, maybe. It depends on how much I like Hellbound Heart. Uh, which I currently I'm loving the book. It's very, very good. Um very, very good book. I just, you know, I uh I I need to read the ending, you know. Cause sometimes uh authors can be very, very good, but then they have some whack ass endings. So like uh Bentley Little, for example, like I I was digging the store until like the end. Uh, and I hear that Bentley Little is not really great at wrapping things up. So, I don't know. But, uh, we'll see. But currently, I'm reading Clive Barker's The Hellbound Heart. And I think I might move on to Books of Blood afterwards, because I am enjoying Clive Barker at the moment. Um, it's very, very, very good writer. Let me say that. He sounds very, very eloquent with his writing, you know. Uh... He uses words I gotta look up every once in a while, uh, like Bon Homie, I think that's how you say it, Bon Homie, and uh, Guile, I did not know what Guile was, so like there's been some words that have popped up and I'm like, what the fuck, <laughs> so uh, that's just me though being illiterate, so um, I'm sure that if the more I read, the more I, I will understand, but uh, but yeah, uh, I'm reading Clyde Barker's The Hellbound Heart. I'm 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 actually looking at some of the Clyde Barker books I own. And I'm gonna look through them and see which one I might pick. Uh I don't know which I'm I'm gonna pick. But uh I there there's some stories that have intrigued me online of Clyde Barker's like um like Rawhead Rex, I think it's called. And the Midnight Meat Train, I've seen the movie, so I want to read the, the story. Because I didn't know it was a story before it was a movie. And uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot of things about Clyde Barker lately. So, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, I'm reading The Hellbound Heart, like I said, like four times already. I'm going to read an anthology next. I have tons of anthologies to read, so... Um, Bear with me, I will give you an update when I finish The Hellbound Heart, and I will do a book review on The Hellbound Heart. It's a novella, but, you know, it still is a book, so. Um, again, sorry for the dogs in the background. They're, uh, playing. They're not, like, animals, like, well, they are animals, but they're not, like, crazy or anything like that. They're just playing. Um... Basically, Lula somehow got a hold of a water bottle, and James wants that water bottle, so they're going back and forth stealing it from each other. So, and that high pitched bark you hear is actually James, the low growl is uh Lula. So, yeah, but I thought I'd give you an update real quick about what I'm reading currently. Uh, Clyde Barker is amazing so far, his Hellbound Heart, the Hellbound Heart. I love the the like they the the people just seem so real like they don't feel like fake people like like cheesy books that I read sometimes like the people are just so like you know uh, what's the word like chival chivalry I I can't think of the word at the moment but uh they like the men are so like you know like oh I need to save the day and save the girl and. The girls are always like, oh, help me, you know, so, you know, these are, like, legitimate characters that feel real, so, you know, I, I'm really enjoying that aspect, um, I'm enjoying the real, like, re the realism of the characters, realism, I, I don't know, that's not the word I want to use, but, uh, I'm enjoying the characters, he does really well with character development, I guess, um, and the story itself is creepy, um, 
it was a weird uh, scene in the beginning of the story, but uh, I got over it. Uh, I think it was really cool, actually. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are reading currently. Like I said, I'm reading uh, Five Barkers and Hellbound Heart. And uh, then I'm going to move on to probably some more Clive Barker because I'm really enjoying Clive Barker at the moment. So tell me what you guys are reading currently. Um, tell me what you got in your TBR. I have, I've literally decided to push my TBR aside to do Clive Barker. So, you know, I will maybe make a TBR later. But basically the only TBR I got going is the coming of age TBR. So, um, but, uh, sorry for the barking again, and, uh, I hope you guys are having a spooky day and a spooky night, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Alright, bye guys.